All right, here we have Handy Drums from Gorin Grooves. And each of these individual plugins, which you can buy, of course, individually or within a full pack, each of them contain production ready sounds. So after you buy whichever one you want or the full pack, throw them into your DAW, throw in your MIDI or program your MIDI or plan your MIDI with a keyboard or, of course, an electronic drum kit, and you are set and ready to go. Of course, if you want to mix your drums further, you can output them to, uh, to separate tracks in order to do that. Now, each of these different drum packs are available for an affordable price, usually somewhere between $35 and $40. So everybody will have access to high-quality professional drum sounds uh, right in your DAW. Now, they're all, they're all uh, VST and AU compatible, and there's also a standalone version. So if you don't want to you know, load up your DAW, you can pull them up in standalone, maybe use your e-drum kit to, uh, to play along. Another good thing about these drums is the interfaces are all laid out basically exactly the same. So after you learn one, you're instantly going to understand how every other one works. And we'll get to the interface in just a second. The only exception are a couple of these, a few of these that have this extra percussion tab where the percussion is split out. And you might see some of these other ones where the percussion is contained within one channel. Now, everything you've heard up until now is MIDI that's also from Gorn Grooves. So if you prefer to just buy some MIDI, you can, of course, get it right from Gorn Grooves. It will work with all of the uh, different uh, handy drums. Grab it, drag it right into your DAW and build up your song that way. Of course, you can also use other drum MIDI as well because we have full access to the key map. So let's go ahead and check out the interface, all of the different parameters and all of the features and options. And then towards the end of the video, we'll have a demo of each of the different handy drums so you can hear the professional mix ready sounds for yourself. All right, let's check out the interface of these professional sounding mix ready drums. If you want to audition any sound, just click it. Great sounding mix ready drums. And then you also see tracks like other and percussion. And these actually have multiple instruments within these single channels. You can see all of the instruments by looking at your key map. Of course, you can play them individually, but you can set your levels here with just a single fader. Now, there are a few different handy drums that will have a breakout tab for the percussion. So you can set those levels directly. OK, but most of them will have just this single page layout. Now, whenever you first instantiate any of your handy drums on a track, the levels and panning are already set. So you really don't have to do anything at all to have your drums mix ready. But of course, if you want to adjust your levels, you use your faders. More snare, less snare, more kick, less kick. You also have mutes. So we can mute anything that we want. Okay. Then you have, of course, your master output level right there. You can also right click any of these faders and learn the MIDI CC or assign a MIDI CC. Maybe you want to assign it to a certain controller to adjust that as you're, uh, as you're playing. Then we'll move on to the keyboard icon, click that and it will show you everything, every key, every note that is currently mapped. Of course, if you change this in your key map, this keyboard here will update. And then we have our MIDI key map and we have full control of mapping here in handy drums. So this means you have full control over what note will trigger what instrument. So if you'd like to play a certain way on your keyboard or your e-drum kit, you can modify all of these key mappings. It also comes into play whenever you are using MIDI. So if you're using the Gorn Grooves MIDI, all of this is just going to uh, immediately work. Okay. All right. It's all going to work whatever you use, whatever you drag in. But if you're using MIDI from other manufacturers, so let's say perhaps Ugratone. Now I happen to know that all of the Ugratone MIDI is indeed general MIDI, so it should work right out of the box here. But every once in a while, you might come across some MIDI that you drag in and it's not triggering the proper notes. No problem with our key map. So check out this groove here. So that is triggering a cowbell, but it should be triggering one of our crashes. No problem with your key map. We'll just open up our key map. The cowbell is G sharp two and the crash is A two. So what I'm gonna do 
is change this crash to G sharp two. I can change this over to A2. Of course, you could always, you know, if you wanted to, you could go in there and change up your MIDI, but of course, changing the key map is going to be much, much faster. There we go. All right, so again, you have full control over your MIDI key map here in Handy Drums. And Handy Drums also has a feature called variable hi-hats. So if we look at our key map again, you'll see we have the standard general MIDI triggers for our hi-hat, but we also have the variable hat tip and the edge on G0 and A0. So what the variable triggers let us do is use the CC4, which you can set your mod wheel to that or another controller to that, and then we can open and close those hi-hats. Let me just show you how this works. We'll come to this MIDI right here, and you can see I'm triggering the A0 variable hi-hat. Okay. And then instead of using my mod wheel or some other controller, I'll just draw this in. So we're on MIDI CC4. And let's just draw in some different automation here. Let me grab my pencil tool. All right, so now we're going from open to closed, and of course, anywhere in between there. Now you also have, over here under the gear, you have your variable hats controller curve, so we can change how this responds. And this might be useful if you're using like an e-drum kit, or something like that. So again, I can change that curve for how it's going to respond, as you can see. Just click to add a node. Double click to get rid of a node. So full control over your drums here with your key map in Handy Drums. So of course, one of the main features of Handy Drums is all your drum sounds are already mixed and ready to go. But if you prefer to add some extra mixing uh, to your drums, you can do that by using the multiple outputs. Now by default, everything comes out of one, two, but if you wanna change that, come down here to your multiple outputs and let's say, I wanna put my kick on its own track. I'll choose three and four, I'll play back. Now we're not hearing the kick and that's because you have to set up that extra track in your DAW. And the way you do this is going to vary between DAWs, but here in Studio One, it's super simple, man. Bada bing, I've activated that channel. Let me just show you right here. So now whenever we play back, my kick is coming through this channel right there. Same thing if I wanted to split out my snares or toms or hats or whatever you want. So let's go ahead and output our snare to maybe five and six. Of course, same thing. Make sure we have somewhere where we can actually hear that track. Activate that. All right. So then I can head into my effects. And perhaps I want to use an EQ on our kick. There we go. So now we can use an EQ just on the kick. Maybe I want to add some more click to that. There we go. Maybe dial out some low end in that. And then maybe for our snare, I just want to add some reverb to just the snare. No problem. Of course, set it up however you prefer. Very cool. So then you can mix your drums like you had recorded the audio tracks into your DAW. All right, so that is your multiple outputs here in Handy Drums. And then onto the gear icon. Now back here we can do things like change the UI zoom. So you wanna make it larger or smaller. There you go. You can clear the MIDI CC. You can change the sample folder location. So if you happen to move uh, all of your sounds to a different drive, head into Handy Drums, and just use this button right here to uh, set that new location. If you're using the standalone version, you can set your driver and audio device, et cetera, et cetera, right here. Of course, if you're using this as a plugin, VST or AU, then your DAW is going to handle all of this for you. You can also set the streaming mode, uh, SSD or hard disk drive, and you can choose what MIDI channels you want to allow. Generally, just check, uh, just check all channels. And then you have your variable hi-hats controller curve, which we have already covered. All right, then you'll have an about button on each of your different uh, uh, handy drums. Just click that to get a bit more information about each of your handy drums. 
So that is the interface of these incredibly easy to use and amazing sounding mix ready drums. So now how about we actually hear what they sound like? So use the chapters below if you want to skip to you know, a certain handy drums version. I'll go through every currently available handy drums. Each one will have its own section so you can hear how these production ready, these mix ready drums actually sound.
Bank. So that is Handy Drums from Gorin Grooves. These are really great sounding drums. As you could tell there during that demo section, I did very little adjustment of anything. I just threw them on the tracks and you know, built up some, uh, some demo tracks and the drums always just sounded good. You know, there, there weren't any other plugins used. It was just the drum. So it's really cool that we have production ready sounds for such an affordable price. So if you wanna pick any of these up for yourself, head right over here. Of course, we're gonna have links in the description below. Buy these individually if you wish, or even pick up the entire bundle. And of course, they also have a bunch of MIDI available as well. Of course, you can use other general MIDI, drum MIDI files, but the Gorn Grooves MIDI will work 100% without having to adjust any of your key maps. All right, again, Links for all of this stuff will be in the description below. If you're looking for some affordable mix ready drums that sound great right out of the box and you don't have to spend a bunch of time mixing, maybe you don't want to mix, maybe you don't know how to mix, maybe you just don't have time to mix, then you probably want to check out Gorn Grooves Handy Drums. All right. Once again, those links will be in the description below. Go check out Handy Drums from Gorin Grooves.